Hello, my name is Naresh. In this video, I am going to discuss about ranking issues concept in Jira software. Here, you can see the board Active Sprints board. Here, now I am going to create uh, three test issues. And with the help of these test issues, I will show you how the ranking works in Jira. So let me create a test issue in test software project, test task. Let me create. Okay, so you have created SP1 issue and let me create a two more issues. So I'm taking now the story, test the story. Click on create button. You can use create another issue. If you want to create more than one issue in a sequence, you can just check this box and create. But I forgot to check this. Let me create the last issue. Test bug, we choose bug, create. So I have created three issues. Let me check the backlog. Yes. So in backlog, you can see three issues, right? So now, if you see here, see the sequence are the priority of the issues. See right now, the test bug, no test story and test, sub, test tasks are in the sequence. Suppose if you want to change the order or the priority of the issues in the backlog itself, I am unable to do because see here, ranking is disabled as the filter query for this board is not ordered by ascending rank. So the first thumb rule is the filter query which was used to create this board must have ordered by ascending rank. This is very, very important. Even though if you use ordered by descending rank, you cannot change the order of the issues or you cannot rank the issues. So the filter query must be ordered by ascending rank, then only you can change the priority of the issues manually. See, I'm trying to change the order of the issues or you know, priority of the issues, but I cannot change the list. It is saying that ranking is disabled. Okay, so now let me create a sprint. So this is the SP sprint one is the sprint. Now I'm just moving these issues to the sprint. See here. So yes. So these are the, this is the same order. In fact, what is the order we have in the backlog? So the same order appears in the sprint. If I try to move the order, see here SP321. Yes, I am changing the order. I am trying to change in the order, but it is not possible. It is saying that ranking is disabled. Okay, now let me start the sprint. I am starting the sprint. The duration is two weeks. So yeah, this is my active sprint. Okay, now I am trying to change the order in the board. See here. Ranking is disabled again. See, I cannot change the order or I cannot change the priority. Okay. And if you see, I can change the status of the issue to in progress. See here, just I am moving the status of the issue. Again, we are having the same order, SP3, SP2, SP1. If you try to change the order in the in progress column, okay, again, the ranking is disabled. Okay, so to fix this, 
we have to go to board settings and we have to edit the filter query see the sections in the general and filter see the, the first section is the general the second section is the filter so under the filter section you can see the edit filter query option you can click it and just you can give the order by rank a yes c okay so if you give descending order let let us see if if we give descending order can the ranking works or not so let me go back i have given the descending order let me go back to the board now let's see what's happening see even though the filter query has the descending order we cannot able to rank the issues in the in progress column so what does it mean descending order order by rank descending is also not helpful and you can see this option add rank so under ranking you can see that add rank and you can see the information also the sort order must be ascending descending order is not supported so you must have the order by ascending rank you just click on add rank and confirm it so automatically the filter query will change now it is having order by ascending order now let me go back to the board and if you try to rank the issues see you are able to do it you can rank the issues when you have ascending order in the filter query so this is the first thumb rule so to rank issues the filter query which was used to create the board must have the order by ascending so and in some cases even though the board is having correct rank that is ascending rank few uh, you know few people are unable to rank the issues do you know why there are two permissions are required to rank the issues in addition to the board query filter even though the board is having correct settings that is ascending order a uh, rank in the filter query few people are unable to rank the issues the reason is the user who is trying to rank the issues must have two permissions i will show what are those you just click on for the settings and click on permissions and coming to the issues section the first permission is edit issue the person who is trying to rank the issues in backlog or in active sprint he must have edit issue permission he must possess edit issues permission this is the first permission and the second permission is schedule issues permission okay so the conclusion is the user must have both edit issues and schedule issues permission then only the user can rank the issues in the active sprint or in the backlog so this is you know this must be there in the project unless and otherwise the user cannot rank the issues in the board even though the board is having correct order by rank as ascending in the filter query thank you hope you like this video
you just click on subscribe button and if you have any doubts put a comment thank you